You're listening to Opinions of Beer. I prefer mead. You sent me to hell, Jason. I really just want to make everybody jealous. <laughs> I'm a person from Earth. Listen, what are we talking about? I reckon it sounds like opinions and beer. You can do it, dingo. Oh, I'm good. You're the smartest dumb guys I've ever met. And this is the best interview ever. <laughs> So, I mean, if if a Harry Potter character was a pirate, which Harry Potter character would be the most piratey of them all? I don't freaking Mal, I think no. Malfoy. I think Malfoy's bloodline would be piratey. Oh. Sounds, sounds pretty piratey. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they're cowards, man. They always do what's necessary to take exactly. the easiest path. Pirates are, pirates are cowards? No, they're not. They do the most easiest it's, thing. They steal, rob. Robbing is easy. Oh. Working your way to the top is hard. Now, today's... No. Jesus. No, I have so many problems with that. No, you can't just move on from that. This is... You know how hard pirating... No, it was like... It was simple. It wasn't easy. There's a 99.9% .9 chance you didn't live through your first fucking raid. Hold up. <laughs> this is Opinions and Beer. With a little bit of facts. I'm your host, Adam. Today with me is Keenan Kitchens. This episode is a special episode. It is going to be, it might be a little shorter than normal episodes. Who knows? But this episode is going to be posted during our, my Disney trip. I'm on vacation today, this moment. This was pre-recorded uh, during my Disney trip. And what a, and you know, at Disney, at Disney, they have the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And what better way to celebrate my vacation at Disney than to talk about pirates in honor of Pirates of the Caribbean and pirates everywhere that have died and lived and lived again and died. Except for like Somalian pirates. Except for Somalian pirates. Those aren't that good. Those yeah. are bad. Yeah, they don't even have like bad cool, pirates, like, bad image or culture. They're Horrible. just. Horrible. Yeah, they're just. Snap your fingers at terrorist. them. Ter ter terrorist. <laughs> ter terrorist. 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 But moving on. And well, we'll get to that in a minute. M moving on to today's beer of the day. And today's beer of the day is ah, the Great Divides Brewing Company's Oatmeal Yeti. It is an imperial stout brewed with raisins. And oatmeal. And no, it's oats. <laughs> it's oats. Anything with oats is oatmeal. Oh, man. What do you think oatmeal is? Oatmeal is fucking oat. With malt, it's it's malted it's, oats I and beer think... and stouts are made with malt. Do you understand that stouts are made with malt? So automatically, it's that oats. Actually, I, that it's, makes sense. Yeah. So automatically, it's they made oats, and it's ma and stouts are made majority is strongly malted, and therefore oatmeal because that's what oats meal is is malted oats. Calm down. <laughs> Don't you know? They oh, God. Just, they didn't put flaked. They didn't just... <laughs> the, the oatmeal flakes. They, they didn't, didn't... They didn't make like, uh, like yeah, unflavored oatmeal and then brew it into the beer. It's just... In league happened. with the Quaker company. <laughs> it's just what happened. It's just what happened. All right, and there's raisins in it, right? You know? Raisins. Can, Not, you, can you smell the raisins? I'm going to smell I actually this. can, yeah. You, it's a, I can smell a little raisiny, and I just spilled yeah. the prune juice on my. It, wait, prune juice is different than raisins, huh? Yeah, it's prunes. <laughs> you think prunes are kind of like raisins? I think in so. The sense. They're in the same shriveled fruit family. What well, do prunes? Prunes start shrivel, don't they? I have no idea. Are do they? I prunes start shriveled. Uh, raisins start as grapes. So it's just kind of maybe that's what it is. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, that's just my opinion. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a very strong opinion you have there, let's, sir. Let's go ahead and try this this Yeti beer. This Yeti beer. Wait, wait. It's nine point eight percent in alcohol by volume. I got this by a special deal. It was a dollar a bottle. Oh, that is stout. It's worth that dollar. That's worth that dollar. I mean, I think it's originally mm. originally priced at ten bucks for the bottle. I think I like it a little bit more that it, it's a dollar, but <laughs> it we, you can taste the deal. <laughs> well, I, no, I'm just saying we we've had a lot of beers now on on the show, and um, 
and just some are really really good and they have that added flavor and it's like man this is added flavor but uh, this oatmeal yeti stout i mean i guess i get i can kind of get the raisiny hint to it has like a raisiny yeah, hint a little bit but i mean it's kind of just a uh kind of like just a really good stout and that's what sucks it's it's, it's no, I'm, I'm saying it. I'm not that it sucks. It's a good beer, but like it's just a good. Like it's a good tried stout. Something new. For yeah, yeah. That's it. what it is. So it's kind of hard to rate it nowadays when you've had so many stuff. It just kind of yeah, tastes it's just, like it's a stout, stout, and that's all it is. Yeah, it's a stouty stout. It's a stout stout. It's a it's a stouty. It's a it's a stout stout. That's a stout stout. I guess I kind of need that a, a stout a, a stout stout. That's a stout stout. I need that umph maybe of stoutiness. Certain, sometimes you just need that umph. Um, but I'm gonna give it a solid seven and a half, seven and a half, eight. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. Thought about giving it an eight. It's like, oh, it's so stout just on the stoutness alone. I'm gonna give it an eight. But that 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 that, that faded after a moment. Like, uh, I guess it's, in hindsight, it's not even that stout. So just just seven. Just a seven. Good, good mm. solid seven. You could stout this is, this is pretty old though. They say they say stouts get better with age, but this is uh, this is June 2017. See, stouts probably get more stout with age, but maybe the flavor is depleted. No, no, yeah, yeah. I can I can probably agree. I think I think it has a. You say yeah, like you knew that. Then then why are we reviewing a a, a busted beer? You know? It's not busted. <laughs> No, they do like, say, yeah, yeah, no, this no, tastes nothing like it would if you would have reviewed an oatmeal while. yeti that wasn't and it's, expired. And it's it's like it's like sealed. <coughs> yeah, it's I like know. Sealed just, the, t- no. the big the big the big bottles are better sealed. I'm busting your bowels. Anyways, that was our rating of of the oatmeal yeti by the Great Divide Brewing Company. Would you uh, would you have in mind about pie? Why, why what fascinates you? What fascinates you, Keenan, about pirates? I, I don't know. No, <laughs> I can't even really like. It's hard to answer that question. I don't know. They're just they're, you're a rebel. Yeah, they're cool, rebels, and brutal. They they like they created their own society with their own rules, and they did everything their own way. And they literally started from. They always, you know, they start from scrap, and they just take everything that they want, and like libertarians. No, I'm joking. Yeah, dot dot <laughs> dot. You know, uh, no. Uh, it's hard to answer that question. I just remember uh, being curious about like what actually went down in, in the Caribbeans, as far as like you know the Pirates of the Caribbeans. Like, uh, of course, right after watching the movie Pirates of the Caribbeans and stuff like that, and and I remember wondering how many you know these characters in these movies are, are were actual pirates back in the day. None of them. Yeah. None of them. Uh, uh, of course. I think one of them might. Uh, yeah, Blackbeard and uh, what, what was that? Str- was that Stranger Tides that had Blackbeard? Yeah. Only pirate and the entire. No, no, thing. no. They had they had some in um in the third movie. Which one? Oh, oh yeah, they did, they did. But a lot of them that they had all in one room existed at different periods, and it was more just like a nod towards actual historical pirates than them actually. Being that historical pirate, cause there is like like uh, there's this uh, Chinese lady. Uh, you remember the Chinese lady, old Chinese lady that was the uh, she was you know in the uh, met yeah. with all the pirates in the third movie and all that. Like yeah, she, uh, she made it with all the pirates. Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> no, like in the, like the 600 AD or some shit like that. There was this crazy pirate lady. And, like, she's a ch- Chinese pirate lady with pine- Chinese ship, and she, you know, sailed the seas around China. And, like, she was the Chinese pirate queen and all that. What made her a pirate? She ransacked ships and took everything that they had. Was she... <laughs> like, what... Uh, was she, was she the being, exact definition of piracy. Was she pirating before pirates existed? Oh, no. no oh, my God. <laughs> that's... that's <laughs> when did the... You said that pirates... You the said. golden age. I was talking about the golden age of piracy. Like her pirating makes her a pirate. Ergo, pirates existed when she was a pirate because she was pirate. <laughs> you know, like what but the no, fuck? You said they live amongst us societal roles. 
Don't they have a rules? They have pirate yeah, like their own rules. Yeah, they, yeah. Their so own when rules and when were those rules made? Because that's when pirates are made. I guess Before so. Before that, pi- they're just people sailing and doing dumb and shit. Just they're just like sea thieves. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. The code started from a. Uh, I want to say it was one specific pirate. He had a very specific code on his ship, and it, like that code, like went down and and uh went down in the history books and like you know like everyone knew about this pirate's code and they started like following the same code and bam thus was the birth of the pirate. i want to say it was henry avery and you know he he's uh he had a very strict regiment on his ship like now like if i'm wrong about which pirate it was like you know don't you know kill me no you're crucified you know <laughs> but uh point is is like he, you know, he had very specific rules. Like, all pirates must keep their guns clean. You know, like, uh... Oh, man, it might have been, uh... Yes. Might have been someone. No, I, I was gonna say Captain Morgan, but it wasn't Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan? Well, like, like... In, that's, a, that's a rum, not a drink. Not, it, not, a, not a pirate. Captain Morgan is more real than Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah. What? And, and Captain Morgan was no more as a private... He was a privateer that did, like... A couple acts of piracy. Am I related to as, Captain Morgan? Uh, probably not. You, know? <laughs> you mother effer. Yeah, like, you know, there, there wasn't just I one hate Morgan you. family on the, in the entire, what? all of history. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You England, British bastard. Oh, now I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... You're trying so hard for back and forth banter that you're like, you know what, Keenan? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, not sure what that has to do with what we were talking about, Adam, but thanks. Now, back to you, back to me, you know? <laughs> Whatever. I bet you the Irish didn't even have pirates. They, John Taylor was a pirate that sailed under uh, Sam Bellamy and he came. He he he. He's from Ireland, but like he was, I, I believe he moved to America in his youth. And and uh, he went out with Sam Bellamy to try and uh, gain their fortune and the lost treasure fleet of like the 1715. Remember me telling you about that? Like, there's a, the Spanish. Tell me tre- about that. The Spanish treasure fleet uh, was the Spanish treasure fleet of Spain. I imagine you got it that much. Yes. <laughs> it, it was heading from South America to Spain with just I, I can't even imagine like I don't even I can't I don't wanna say millions, I don't I don't know, a fuckload of money. You know, like in silver and gold and jewelry, like maybe it was just hundreds of thousands. It was probably in the millions. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. And it, it was like during the depths of hurricane season, but you know, like the, the, the king needs his money. You know, they they didn't know about hurricane season yet. Probably they. I bet you they didn't. I, I bet you they they, they had like a, a, a just a, a barely a notion that you know hurricanes seem to happen a lot this time of year, no, and they, then they, they don't happen they, they, they any know, other like, time of year. Of, the goddess of sea, uh, sea biscuits yeah. is <laughs> goddamn Davy Jones is after us again. Yeah, Davy Jones after us again. <laughs> Davy Jones is angry today. We can't go out. No. Gosh damn it, Squidward. <laughs> Squidward. <laughs> but no, like, like, like I feel like they probably barely did have a notion, which is funny because it's like you know they're like yeah, like you know uh, hurricanes happen a lot this year and they don't happen any other time of year. But uh, I don't think it's a thing or anything. <laughs> <laughs> No, but so this this treasure fleet, it's like seven ships and it heads it, it leaves South America, goes around from Cuba and heads up to Florida with with intentions of just right after right around Florida, just busting a right and heading towards the uh, through the Atlantic all, all the way over to Spain. They get to Florida and that's when the, the hurricane hits and like every single ship goes down, treasure and all. And and it didn't take you know just a couple days later you know just immediately you know word spreads about this and Spain's trying to rush over to the the, the, the shipwreck site to reclaim their gold. Meanwhile, every single person that knows about this, they they all like you know it's just it... yes. I'm just thinking of how to word it. Like just piracy erupts. From this treasure fleet, but not like because of the treasure fleet, but because they get there with no luck of getting any of the 
finding it's it a very detergent. burpy beer, isn't it? I, it really is, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to like not die and not like and keep talking. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so a bunch of people go out there to salvage the treasure, and they have no luck. They don't want to go back empty-handed, and and uh, being amongst them is Sam Bellamy. And his friend John Taylor, which John Taylor was an Irish pirate, technically, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of like you know a, a great romantic tale that uh, of Sam. Romantic Bellamy. tale. Yeah. See, Sam Bellamy. Uh, well, he grew up just uh, just a normal lad, and uh, with normal life, with normal job, and normal pay. Uh, keyword there's like uh, normal pay. You know, and, and he like he fell in love with this this woman, and her father didn't think that Sam Bellamy was in any way, form, or fashion good enough for her. He was he's just like a he, he's just normal. You know, this is this is the greatest showman plot. So you can't lie to me. No, no. See, it's this is this is one hundred percent true too. All right, so like her father didn't think that he was in any way, form, or fashion good enough. He wasn't rich enough. He didn't have an estate. He didn't have a business. He didn't have shit. And, like, whatever job he did have, it paid crap. You know, and, like, he's like, you can never provide for my daughter. So, and then that's, and like, around the time that, like, you know, he's being told this by this chick's father, he also gets news of, this, this is obviously around 1715, he gets news of uh, the treasure fleet that went down. So he tells his friend John Taylor. What, what, news, like this, what, what news broke him? CNN? Yes. All right, like there's, it's an ancient form of CNN. No, 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 but like, dude, news travels. Like, I don't freaking know how. Word of mouth, I suppose. <laughs> Calm down. Like people, people, like, people don't even talk to each other. Like, no just more because it wasn't there. there were, uh, it wasn't a reporter with a mic doesn't mean that people didn't get news back then. You know, <laughs> I don't think people did. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did, but it was just like it takes ages. Like, all right, see, that has a lot to do with it. Actually, that that's a contributing factor. Like, uh, let's just say because shit's uh, this is probably an exaggeration, but because there isn't CNN, like uh, the this Spanish treasure fleet goes down in seventeen fifteen. Here it is, the year seventeen sixteen. And Sam Bellin is like, dude, I heard this thing just went down, like, the other day. You're like, yeah, man, I just got the news. Spanish treasure fleet, this is brand new fucking news, all right? I'm the first fucking person to know about this, like, here. <laughs> you know? In Massachusetts. <laughs> you know? Mass- what? Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> Massachusetts. That's how you say it. Massachusetts. That's how you say it. Why, why are y'all laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, in Massachusetts. <laughs> so they they head out there, and first they get a ship, and they got to go all the way down from Boston, the Boston uh, port, you know, uh, to all the way down to Florida. You know, they get there, and of course, Sp- Sp- Spain's done set up camp, like right, right up on shore, ne- the closest shore, you know, spot of land to the right. You know, they they, they yeah. got a whole fucking like salvage camp there. They got ships, you know, there's hundreds of soldiers. And they're all just, they're just taking back, like, Spain beat a lot of, the, some soldiers got there and got some shit, I'm sure. But it didn't take no time for Spain to get there to get the gold back, and it kind of shut down anyone's get-rich-quick scheme as soon as they get there and they see Spain, like, collecting there. But a lot of them didn't want to go back empty-handed, you know, and, like, uh... You know, I think there was cases of uh, like just normal Joes going out there, and they actually did find shit. And then a normal Bob goes out there, and he doesn't find anything, but he doesn't want to go back empty-handed. So normal Bob pirates normal Joe, you know, and that's huh. and that's how like piracy just started to flare up in the Caribbean, you know, because like you know, and also like any Spanish ship, there was like you know there were situations of like Spanish ships being the. They were they're out there salvaging and shit like that. They spend all day salvaging gold from this fucking wreck, and they get the gold on their ship. and And then there's people who just wait are waiting for them to do all the heavy lifting, <laughs> and they get all the gold up, and then they just go, you know. But again, there's hundreds of soldiers. There's a huge salvage camp. I I, I don't know. Like I know that this erupted piracy, but it's like I can't even like. 
or I can't I can't really imagine people really there there's this huge group that later pirated the salvage camp but I can't really imagine individuals out there that go out there like wanting to salvage the gold finding the Spanish and be like well fuck it let's attack the Spanish you know, like one person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, or one, or like four or five people. And again, these are people that are like shopkeepers and fucking butchers and bakers. And they get out there. They're not going to attack the Spanish, but somehow that did erupt piracy. And I'm just, I, I'm forgetting how those two dots are. Connected. Seems like a tall tale to me. No, see, well, at that time, then like, uh, I don't know. What do you mean? No, no, you're you about to go into a speech. Exactly, but that is just like I'm taking it all the way back to the beginning. Like, how do we get to the middle? Like, we're we're not supposed to be at the middle yet. We're at the middle of the story, and it's just like, all right, well, let's go all the way back to the very beginning. See, it all started with the Nine Year War in Europe and all that, and how they were heavily relied on on pirate. It's like I can just keep going further and further back. Every time I mention something, I remember how this originated. Well, so I go back and back and back and back and back and back and back. Let's put a pin in it. No, let's go all the way and back. Let's say during May, I'm gonna scan it out and we'll start at the very beginning of history, and we'll have like a history. May is History Month for pirates. Well, we should have just waited. I, to, I, I didn't know you had a specific reason why you're we'll waiting. Cross promote. I was just like, hey man, when are we gonna do the pirate? And we'll episode? try to cross promote with the pirate podcast. And that'd be fun. Yeah. And uh, cause they obviously see they, this is probably lot. like in this this is like the subject of their podcast. So like I ain't thought about like I used to do so much research on shit like this, but I, I ain't done that shit in years, and yeah, I, I don't remember a lot of it. Is this our episode? Pirates. We're just, we're just, we're Pirates done are now. crazy. Pirates. Are well, that's crazy. just your opinion, Adam. My opinion. That is your opinion. No, I, that's a fact. Pirates are crazy. <laughs> No, dude, like, I think there, there's literally a science to the craziness of pirates. To, like, the rum and or the grog they were drinking back then. Wait, Which, what? Grog. Grog? Grog. Who drinks mead, then? Mead is just, like, honey beer. And mead has been drinking by everyone. Well, honey the, wine, according to James Marandino, who we interviewed. Yeah, but you're, like we talked about it then, like mead's been around from the Egyptians all the way till pirates, okay. you know? Yeah, yeah. But no, no like the point is, is like, dude, they were all drunk out of their mind all the time, like to a degree that would like even the butcher. Yes. Even the other guy that does stuff. Once they created, they they, they committed an act of piracy. They're no longer butchers and tailors. So now they're drunks. Thieves and criminals. Okay. But no, like, I think that they were just so drunk all the time. Like, the kind of drunk that, like, now that, like, like, with uh, the way that, like, the, the, the potency of alcohol has probably, like, gone, dwindled over time. Dwindled? Yes, dwindled. They made some intense shit. Dude, what they drank back, the, the rum that they drank back then. Okay, rum, yeah, yeah. And, and and the whiskey and all that shit, you know, like maybe yeah. maybe there's some stouter beers, but oh, dude, man, I I I plan on buying that uh that fifty dollar uh beer that uh, snake venom snake bite or whatever. <laughs> I just think 50, that way back then they were like seventy percent alcohol. They were always drinking on rum, of course. That's a huge fucking stereotype. Seventy percent, and it's true. Would seventy percent alcohol beer? Yeah. Jesus Christ, man! Snake venom. It's called snake venom. It's pretty fucking. Well, no, cool. I think like ninety percent of that. The, the, <laughs> the characteristics of pirates can be chalked up to they were hammered on like a historical level. Historical. Like a hammered. That would kill today's humans. Today's humans have evolved with the dwindling of the of that's the, kind of the prejudice. Of, that's, <laughs> you're assuming no, like, you're uh, assuming their soberness. The, the Don't alcohol, assume their soberness. The alcohol that is around today is in, can no in no comparison to the alcohol back then, and they were drinking that shit from dusk till dawn, seven days a week, three hundred sixty-five days a year. Yeah, and how they yeah. fight in pirate? Exactly, you can't fight in no, pirate. No, exactly. Oh my god, they they did that shit drunk. They did that. They did. <laughs> they did. And it's just, it's, that's how it ends up. Like you know, what they, historian told you that? 
I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, I don't, I, for one, this is more of my own assessment that I gather, knowing, for, hearing from historians of, like, how, like the potency of the rum that they drank back then, and how it's, like, 100% different from what we call rum today. And knowing that I have done some crazy ass shit on the rum, what, the bullshit we call rum today. <laughs> <laughs> so I can only imagine if they're on day 77 of their drinking binge of this historically potent rum. And then, yeah, they're going to hang somebody up by their nuts until they talk because oh it sounds God. like the greatest idea. Because they've been drinking for 77 days. You know? Speaking of piracy, didn't uh, we haven't talked about this yet, Keenan. Didn't you try to pirate a uh, vehicle? No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Too soon, bro. <laughs> you can keep it going. wasn't like that. <laughs> land pirates. Keenan yeah. is a walking land pirate. Uh, not a land pirate. I... Almost was a land pirate. Yeah, you got drunk and became a land pirate. <laughs> oh, it's the same. That's what you just said. Yeah, you just said that. You know, pirates, they all get drunk and they do uh, pirate Crazy. stuff. Yeah. See? See, when I was drunk, I was like, I think this is mine, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> and it seemed like the greatest idea at the moment. And I was only drunk on uh, tequila. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Mexican pirates. No, but Jean Lafitte worked with the Mexicans. Oh, dude. Yeah, he did. That's interesting. But he was also a spy for the Spanish while working for the Mexicans. Fucking Inception style. Mind blown. What, a spy for the Spanish? Yeah. He, he was. Doing what? Telling the Spanish everything that he can about the Mexicans and their... What are they doing? They, I don't What's know. What's so secretive that they need a spy? I, 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 why do people need spies all the time? Because what it's... kind of stupid shit is this? What kind of things are we doing in the background? <sighs> is that good beer? It really is. It really <laughs> is. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty stout. Pretty stout and strong. It's kind of strong. So are, are we like about to wrap this up? Or yeah, we're about to wrap I mean, it up. I can just keep going. I mean, yeah. Know? I mean, uh, I'm trying to make it to 30 minutes. Oh, Wait, you threw off my like rhythm, so like I thought we were ending this, but then we didn't end it, and then I wondered why the fuck you threw off my rhythm. <laughs> you know? I mean, you can end it any time. I think I think our our intro is thirty seconds. I th I think it's thirty seconds, maybe thirty five seconds. All right, well at the end of the nine year war, which heavily relied you have, on, you have about thirty. It, it's it's. Seconds are long on podcasts. Seconds. We're at 20. I believe there's there's not a time 29. dilation there. I'm sure seconds are the same. <laughs> 20. No, but look, like, uh, okay, so. Yes. I'm just wondering where to start. Just. I, like, I know so much about a pirate. I can be like, all right, so the year 1 AD. No. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is a good starting point in general, you think? Yeah. About pirates. Or that's just. That's just my opinion. Your opinion. And that's fine. It's not my opinion. Because all we got here are opinions and beer.